Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. So October is already gone, October of 1999 and of course following that is November. Uh, we did okay in October but uh, didn't do all too awesome uh, mostly because our play on the road has been a little bit problematic so i don't know what i really can realistically do about that uh, maybe i just need to let it play out i have quite quite a young team i guess I, I picked up all of those you know young superstars in the making and everything they are not quite there at maturity yet so maybe they just need to learn how to play on the road so november is ahead of us uh, as usual i've looked uh, at who's available on the trading block there were a few interesting names but at this point um, i'm pretty happy with my team uh, except maybe i would i would maybe go for a goaltender or some defense but the interesting names were forwards uh, guys like anson carter and mikhail nylander mostly um, there was cliff running to a cliff running is getting a little old in 1999 uh, I, those are interesting names, and I wouldn't mind having them on the team, but whose spot are they taking? I mean, uh, I'm pretty stacked up front at this point. So I am not going to make a move for any of those guys. Uh, if a good D shows up or something like that, I might try to sacrifice some offense for a good defenseman, but uh, there was nothing like that available right now. Uh, I did put Rob Niedermeyer on trading block. Uh, I did say that I have a lot of centers that are very similar. Uh, I have Selinger, Matt Cullen, and Rob Niedermeyer that I all consider that are kind of, uh, you know, fighting for the same positions. So I've put Rob Niedermeyer on the block to see if I can get something back. And I have also put Roman Hammerlick on the trading block. Uh, not necessarily to trade him at all costs, but to see maybe what he can re bring back as a return uh, he's not been all that great for me i mean roman Amerlik had a very steady yet unimpressive career steady okay to good career but like for his draft position and everything he you know he wasn't all that great i guess so Anyway, we'll see. And for some reason, while I was looking at all of this stuff, you know, on the team and everything, I realized that right now my scouts are seeing Mike Fisher as a four and a half star potential player. So I think my scouts have been, you know, doing some crack on the road or something. Uh, especially when Martin Avlat is considered a two and a half star potential player. And I loved Mike Fisher, but four stars and a half, yeah, that's. That's a little I. All right, so let's take a look here. We are advancing. Uh, Rod Brydon thinks that this season has proceeded promisingly so far. Uh, all right, we went seven, three, and one, and Rod Brydon is happy. Not very happy. He's just happy. Maybe he's seeing the same thing I'm seeing with the games on the road or something. Mike Sanger back soon is what they keep telling me. All right, and we play tomorrow in Washington. All right, what do we have here? Okay. Oh. Mike Sanger is finally completely recovered, and there's been a trade between Colorado and Dallas. Well, 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 I just mentioned his name. So Anson Carter uh, got traded. Oh, oh, so Anson Carter got traded to Dallas for Marty Turco. So Colorado didn't quite have the goaltending, even though they won the cup and everything. I, In my universe, I just don't think they have the goaltending. They didn't trade it for Patrick, for Patrick Roy, but they traded for Marty Turco. Which right now he's only a one star player, uh, but he's a two and a half star potential player. So 
if it develops to what Marty Turco was in real life, Colorado will have themselves a decent goal, a goaltender for the future. Very interesting trade. Anson Carter was a pretty decent player. Um, could score some goals and he had some size and speed too. So that's an interesting trade for sure. Alright, we are playing in Washington. So Washington doing a little bit better than they have been doing uh, in the past few seasons. Right now they are 6-4 and four for 12 points. They are 3rd in the East because they are atop their division. So we haven't played them yet this year, so let's take a look. So Olaf Kozig in net, of course, the really good goaltender there. Uh, Dwayne Rolason as the backup, that's also pretty good. Gonchar, Kelly Yulsper, Gustaf Gustafsson, Miller, Kevin Hatcher, Nick Boynton, Butterill King, Patrick Lebeau. Yeah, good goaltending, OKD, spotty offense. So I don't know if they can keep up with... Uh, with that record that they have. Uh, well, good news for them is that we are in town and we're not playing well on the road. So they, you know, they might continue their kind of streak, I guess. We're going with some Thomas. They are playing Olaf Kozig in net. Let's get November 1999 going. And we started with a tie. All right, so that's two games in a row on the road that I did not lose but did not win either. So 2-2 two -two tie against the Washington Capitals. Uh, we outshot them 31-19 to in that game. So one of them was a lot more busy than the other. Glenn Metropolit for Washington was the first star. He had a goal. Marian Osa for us was the second star with an assist. And Jan Bulish was the third star with a goal. So we traded goals in the first period. And for us, it was Yashin, assisted by Osa and Alfredson. And then we traded goals in the second period. They took a 2-1 to one lead, and then Vili Peltonens uh, tied it, with, assisted by Roman Amerdik and Joe Neuendijk. And nobody would score anymore in that game, and it remained 2-2. Two -two. Right, I'll take the point. I'm not overly disappointed yet. Um, oh. Whoa. Tommy Salo is available. He's been put on waivers. I'm picking Tommy Salo up. I don't care about the giant mistake that he made. Was it in the Olympics that he made like that really crazy mistake? Or was it at the World Championship? I, I don't quite remember. It was a long time ago. I'm claiming t uh, Tommy Salo. There you go. Uh, Dave Andrechuk has played in uh, 1,250 games. Was El Pointless, though. So he's 36 now. As we know in real life, Dave Andrechuk played until he was like 87 or something. Um, he's a star and a half, so he's probably slowing down. John LeClaire's point streak ended at 12 games. So was El Pointless against New Jersey. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty crazy that Tommy Salo has been put on waivers. I don't know if I'm getting him or getting him or not. Alright, uh, we are back home. We are playing the Pittsburgh Penguins that who are maybe struggling a little bit, at least uh, up to their own standards that they've been putting up for years. They are five three and two for twelve points. If the playoffs were to start right now, Pittsburgh wouldn't be in them. They are tenth in the East, although they've only played ten games. So let's look at their lineup. So they have Andrew Ference and Ulf Samuelson on injured reserve. So they are these banged up a little bit. And they have Tom Barrasso and Peter Scudra in net. They are both one-star goaltenders. So goaltending is not all that great in Pittsburgh right now. Adrian O'Coin, uh, Michael Sikora, Brendan Witt, Eric Messier are playing D. Michael Roswell, Matthias Nordstrom as well. Uh, Jagger, Kostov, Streka, Francis Lemieux, Erdina Park, Milan Kraft, Tom Kostopoulos. Uh, 
Yeah, I see a team that has some really good players, but I see an aging team and uh, younger players, a lot of them are just not cutting it, really. So, it's going to be interesting to see if Pittsburgh falters, uh, kind of like they did at the start of the 2000s. Pittsburgh started to have some problems. All right, they are playing Peter Scudro, who obviously is their first uh, goaltender now, and we're going with Mike Dunham. And we won 5-3, to three, so historically in my universe, uh, we've had a lot of problems beating Pittsburgh consistently, so that's, that's good. First game of the season, we beat them. Oh, yeah, also... Uh, historically <laughs> in my universe Pittsburgh has always uh, been bringing it to us and they have outshotted us 58 to 35 so Mike Dunham was pretty good in that one probably deserved a star that he didn't get uh, Johnny Wendyke was the first star of the game he had a goal and three assists Yaramir Jagger was the second star with a goal and an assist and Pavel Datsyuk was the third star with two assists uh, we had 11,268 people in attendance uh, so Pittsburgh took a 1-0 lead in the first uh, then uh, we owned the second period so Alfredson scored on the power play from Neuendijk and Joe Thornton then Pittsburgh scored so it was 2-1 Pittsburgh then we scored three times before the end of the second uh, Norm McIver on the power play from Joe Neuendijk and Alexi Yashin Marian Osa from Neuendijk and Datsyuk Garen from Yashin and Tomasz Armstrong so it was 5-2 after 2 and then we traded goals in the third period. Joni Wendyke scored on the power play from Pavel Datsyuk. And then Jager scored on the power play, but it was too little too late. We won 5-3. to three. And in that game, Ron Francis extended his point streak to 12 games with an assist. Next game is in two days at home against the Habs, against Montreal, f who are first in the East. Ooh, we did claim Tommy Salo off waivers, so he is ours now. All right. Tommy Salo wants number 35. Tommy Salo can get number 35. I'm okay with that. All right, and I think I'm going to send Sam Thomas down. He's not uh, quite progressing up to you know his potential, so he can do that in the minors for now. And I have a, I think a decent tandem of goaltenders that uh, you know are in a decent age range. Uh, Dunham is 27, Tommy is 28. They are both two and a half star players. And they have very similar they have very similar uh, ratings and everything so yeah I don't know who's going I don't know if they're going to alternate or if they're going to play mostly Mike Dunham or what but uh, I'm not too, too upset with that pickup that's for sure oh Tim Thomas uh, is having the right attitude being sent down. Sorry, it's St. Thomas. Took you a long time to reach the NHL consistently in your career in real life. So, all right. So, oh, the Abs did lose the last game they played against the Islanders. Now, Steve Passmore is going through waivers. I am not going to claim Steve Passmore. Uh, Sergei Fedorov has achieved 500 assists in his career. So, uh, against uh, the Carolina Hurricanes, he had one assist. Suspension for Edmonton's Kelly Buckberger. Uh, he is going to miss four games. In that same game, Jason Harnett keeps fans on their feet all night. He had three goals and two assists. Well, pretty good game against St. Louis. 
memorable game for Teppo Numinen. Uh, in a 9-1 trouncing of the Data Stars, he had 3 goals and an assist. In that same game, Timu Selane had 2 goals and 4 assists for 6 points. And there was no stopping Viktor Kozlov. He had a hat-trick 3 goals in a tie against Philadelphia. All right, we are playing Montreal. Uh, mentioned earlier, they are first in the East. They are 9-3-2. They have 20 points. We have 18. So if we beat them, uh, we can catch up to them. <clears throat> oh, they have Patrick Roy that's hurt. Oh, yeah, that's true. He, he uh, crashed that car. So, oh, they have Jamie McLennan in net. So that's where uh, McLennan is at now. Jamie McLennan is in net for Montreal. He had that awesome season in Philadelphia a year ago. And yeah, yikes, it's not going so good for him this year. And then Yeremeyev in net, as well as the backup right now. Uh, Andre Markov, Brett Edekin, Mathieu Schneider, Patrice Brisbo, Eric Desjardins, Ed Jovanovski, Jason Smith. Yeah, their D's pretty good. They have good D. And they don't have star power up front, but they have a very uh, uniform group of forwards. So, yeah, they're probably not uh, easy to beat at all. All right, so they are sending Vitaly Yeremeyev in net. We're going with Tommy Salo, freshly acquired off waivers. So welcome in, welcome to Aloha, Tamisalo. I hope you enjoy yourself here. And we lost three two. I shouldn't have picked up Tamisalo. No, I'm just joking. Uh, all right, so Montreal outshot us thirty nine to twenty nine. Um, I think that's our first loss at home, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we had almost 13,000 people in attendance. Wow, we have we had 12,976 people in attendance. Saku Koivu was the first star of that game. He had two assists. Joe Nguendike was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Chris Drury, oh wow, they have Chris Drury, uh, was the third star with two assists. So, Joe Nguendike from Mike Ratchi and Vili Peltonen. Scored in the first period, we were up one nothing. Then Montreal scored twice in the second period, so they were up two to one. And then we traded goals in the third period. We did tie it uh, with Bill Guerin scoring, assisted by Junior and Dyke. But uh, a couple minutes later, Matthew Schneider scored on the power play as the game winner, go game winning goal, and we ended up losing three to two. Adam Oates extended his goal streak to five games with a goal and an assist against uh, the Atlanta Thrashers. Sergei Samsonov extends his goal streak to five uh, with a goal against Calgary. Sergei Samsonov is playing with the Florida Panthers. Ron Francis extends his point streak to 13 games. He had an assist against the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, next game is in three days at Madison Square Garden against the Rangers. Miroslav Shatan in Edmonton is back from suspension. Wow, Atlanta is just... Passing people through waivers like crazy. You know, they're trying to pass Sergei Krivokrasov and Murray Baron. I'm not going to claim either of them. But, yeah. Passes on point for Robert Lang. So, Robert Lang playing for LA. He is 28 years old already. And he's had four assists in a 4-4 tie against Edmonton. Pretty good. All 
All right, so we are playing at Madison Square Garden. That's actually the second time this season we're playing there. Uh, we lost the first contest 3-2. to two. Uh, The Rangers right now are 7-9, and nine, and they are 11th in the East. We're going with Tommy Salo, who's wearing a Buffalo Sabres jersey. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I know you've been moving uh, around a little bit lately. Don't be lost in your suitcases so bad. We're playing against Patrick Lalim. And we lost 4-3. We are unable to win on the road. We s we, it's almost the middle of November and we still have not won a hockey game on the road this year. We are not going to be making the playoffs if we cannot win on the road. And we outshot them 32 to 31, so we did not too bad over there. Sergei Zubov was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Tomas Omstrom uh, was the second star with a goal. And Mike York, third star with an assist. So we scored first. Uh, Yeshin scored, assisted by Alfredson and McIver. Then the Rangers scored twice. So they were up 2 to 1 after 1. Uh, then we scored. Uh, Datsyuk scored, assisted by McCabe and Sillinger. Uh, so it, it was 2 2, but then the Rangers scored twice again. And it was 4 2. And Thomas Omstrom scored in the third period from Matt Cullen and Andreas Dackel, but that was too late, and we couldn't tie it up. Big game for Todd Bertuzzi with the Islanders. He had three goals and an assist against Carolina. Good game. Strong game for Zygmunt Palfi in that same game. He had a goal and four assists. And no further punishment for Stefan Matto in Chicago. He is not going to get suspended. Sergei Samsonov scored in six straight uh, with a goal against Atlanta. And Ron Francis... Uh, a point streak ended at 13 games. It was held pointless against Montreal. We are playing Nashville at home. Nashville not doing too good. Uh, pretty much uh, following the staple of being an expansion team in its second season. They have a 2 9 and 3 record. We are back at home where so far this year as it has been our only chance of winning a, a game. Let's take a look at their lineup. See who they have. So David Leguan is not gonna be playing. He's hurt. Wow, he's already already up to his potential at two and a half stars. I have Jeff Hackett and Ron Tagnot in net. That's that's all right. That's I mean that could be worse. Um, Drake Berowski, Boykov, Odeline, Shannon, Bugner, Erickson, Krupp, O'Sullivan. Yeah, that D is okay, but not great. Radic Bonk, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, you did get 44 points last year, and you have 9 points this year, so you're thriving away from Ottawa. I see how that is. Curtis Brown, Tyson Nash, Tim Sweeney, Chris Tansel, Leguan Herperger, Dennis Peterson, Dennis Arkipov. Yeah, um, not, a, not a great team. Right, Ron Tangnat in net for Nashville, and we're going back to Mike Dunham. It, uh, we tried with Tamisello, it didn't work very well. And we won 3-1, to one. so decent little game. Not a lot of goals, but I'll take it. Oh god, we completely destroyed them in shots, 50-15. to 15. And we had only 9,204 people in attendance. I guess people are not very interested to see Nashville. So Joe Newendike was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Chris O'Sullivan for Nashville was the second star with a goal. And Pavel Datsyuk for us was the third star with a goal and an assist. 
So that took scored in the first from Neuendijk and Bill Guerin, and we were up 1-0. Then Chris O'Sullivan tied it up in the second period. We were tied at 1. Mike Recito would score from Zvela and Datsuk before the second period ended. We were up 2-1. to one. And then in the third, Joe Neuendijk scored unassisted. And it was 3-1. to one. That's how the game ended. So go, go sense go. Good for us. Alexi Kovalev extends his assist streak to 8 games with an assist against Washington. And we are playing our next game at home against Anaheim. Prolific passing night for Peter Sikora in New Jersey. He had five assists against Atlanta. Pretty good. Jeff Courtnall has tallied 900 points in his career with a goal against Phoenix. He's 37 and he's a star and a half. Yeah, I don't know if Jeff Courtnall can make it to a thousand points. That's... I'm gonna be tough for him, I think. Uh, Kelly Buckberger is back from suspension in Edmonton. All right. So Anaheim uh, is struggling a little bit, uh, not as mightily as some of the other newer teams. Though, so they are six, nine, and two. So could be worse. Could be better too. But uh, they're they're there. Uh, Podvine and Jamie Store in net, so I guess that's okay. That's not a bad tandem. Gusarov, Tverdovsky, Vishnevsky, Leopold, Todd Gill, Darian Hatcher, Richard Schmelik, and David Warrenka, I think. Uh, yeah, that's not great of a D. They do have Av Nicholas Avlid, that's an injured reserve. Uh, Johnson, Titov, Leclerc, Girard, Kilger. Uh, lots of holes in this team. The D is... After that first pairing, I'm guessing they're playing together. I'm guessing Terodovsky and Darian Hatcher are playing together. Uh, past that on D, it's really not all that great. And on offense, other than Steve Ruchin and Paul Carrio, you don't have a whole lot there either. Yeah, might be tough in Anaheim this year. All right, Felix Podvin in net for Anaheim. We're going with Mike Dunham. And we won 7-2. to two. Pretty good game. Oh, wow, that was a... <laughs> a run and gun game we beat them in shots 52 they still got 43 so uh, whenever you know you're above 80 shots on goal total usually that's you know a pretty offensive game we're above 90 or 95 shots total so that's you yep <laughs> Uh, attendance, given the opponent attendance, I guess, uh, 11,522. I mean, that's definitely more than Nashville brought. Uh, Yeshin was the first star of this game. He had four assists. Robert Zvela was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Mike Dunham got the third star with 41 saves. That's a pretty good performance. So we took a 3 0 lead into the first period. Uh, Marian Osa scored first from Yashin and Peltonen, then Alfredson from Radji and Nuendijk, and Thomas Omstrom from Zvel and Nuendijk. 3 0 after one. We took a 4 0 lead. Peltonen scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Alexi Yashin. Then Anaheim would score. It was 4 1. Then we scored. Uh, Magnus Arvidsson scored his first of the season from Bill Guerin. It was 5-1. to one. Then Zvela from Osa and Yashin. And Peltanen on the power play again from Zvela and Yashin. It was 7-1. to one. And with two seconds left to go in the game, Steven Rice scored for an arm. Made it 7-2. to two. It was obviously too late. Strong game for Alexi Yashin. I know we, I was there. For assists. It made me happy. 
All right, now we're going to go and play on the road, so we're probably going to lose. That's crazy that we still don't have a win on the road, and it's November 17th. That's crazy. Marty McInnes extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal and an assist against the St. Louis Blues. Alexi Kalev's assist streak ended at eight games. He was held scoreless against Boston. Oh, that game is in two days, so we had a little bit of a break here between games. We didn't have anybody injured, so nobody got to heal during that time or anything like that. Big game for Mario Lemieux. In a 3-3 tie against Buffalo, he scored all the goals for his team. Lemieux is 34, he doesn't have back problems, and he is still a 5-star player. All right, we are playing in Carolina. Uh, they are 7, 8, and 2. So again, last year they were first in their division, mostly by default. They don't have a great lineup. I think we played them in preseason. And I wasn't too impressed with their lineup. So Sean Burke in net is pretty good. Mikhail Noronin, of course, Chris Pronger is good. Oh, sounds like I'm not sure what Rich Peel. Yeah, there's a... That D is not very good. The offense is okay, I guess. All right, is this going to be our first win on the road for uh, on the season? Tommy Salo is going to try to get that for us, even though he still thinks he's playing for Buffalo. They're going with Sean Burke. Oh man, we can't win a game on the road. This is crazy. We lost 2-1. Alright, so Tommy Salo couldn't... Uh, Tommy Salo's not doing that great for us. Maybe I shouldn't have picked him up. Uh, we outshot them 27-17, to 17, so that was like the complete opposite of the game against Anaheim there. Uh, not a lot of shots total. Uh, Greg Johnson for Carolina was the first star, he had two assists. Brian McCabe, second star, he had the goal for us. And Chris Pronger had two assists and was the third star. So Carolina scored in the first and in the second. So after two, they were up 2 nothing. And then McCabe scored with 4.40 left to go in the third from Neuendijk and Bill Guerin. But we couldn't tie it up. Now we're back home. This time we are going to be playing against the San Jose Sharks. Theo Fleury has tallied 500 assists in his career. He had a goal and an assist against Anaheim. That's pretty good. So 500 assists. He's 31. He's still going to get some. Eastman Knudsen in St. Louis is not going to get suspended. Vinny Prospel now playing for Toronto, lights the lamp. He had four goals and an assist against St. Louis. Wow. Alright, we are playing the Sharks. So the Sharks for I have been doing pretty good for themselves for the last couple of seasons, and they have a pretty good record right now. They are 10, 9, and 4 for 24 points. So that's two more points than us. So not doing too bad in San Jose again. They must have a good coach because if I, yeah, their their team is nothing, you know, to to lose it over. Uh, they have Trevor Kidd and Mika Kiprusov in net. So Kiprusov is 23, he's a star and a half goaltender, so not quite up to potential yet. Aki Berg, Brad Stewart, Andres Yusin, Doug Huda, Scott Hannon, Peter Popovich, Aaron Ward on D. It's okay as a D, not great, but it's okay. Bradley Friesen, McCammon, Whitney, Sturm, Kudashov, Korolev, Kozlov, Nikolai. God, there's a lot of Russians there. Nikolishin, Sullivan, Falu, Nangan Brunner, Stevenson, and Gary Volk. So. 
Yeah, the, it must be the coaching because individually that that's not a super impressive lineup. All right, Mika Kuprasov in net for them. Mike Dunham for us, and we won forty-one. We outshot them forty-five to thirty-two. And we had 10,024 people in attendance for that one. Daniel Alfredson was the first star. He had three assists. Uh, Mike Dunham was the second star with 31 saves. And Joe Neuendijk was the third star with two goals. So Neuendijk is still bringing it. Right, we took a 2 nothing lead into the first. So Hammerick scored from Alfredson and Datsuk. And then Neuendijk from Radji and Alfredson. So that was 2 nothing. Then we took a 4 nothing lead into the third, so Neuendijk from McIver and Alfredson, and then Guerin from Sillinger and Zvel, and then finally Ray Whitney scored for San Jose, uh, but it was 4-1 at that point, and that's the score that held. Suspension for Cam Neely, um, he's going to miss 5 games, Cam Neely still playing hockey, he's 34, he's only a 2-star player now. Uh, Jamal Mayers in Florida is suspended. He's going to miss five games. And there's been a trade between the Bruins and the Flyers. Dave Laurie and Martin Spanel of Boston are going to Philadelphia for Yanni Ninima and Maxim Ouellette. Wow. Okay, I think I think Boston got the best player in the deal. I think Nima is better. He's twenty four. Dave Laurie's thirty four. I mean, Dave Laurie is still a two star player, but I think Boston won the trade. I mean, Maxim Wallet is probably not gonna become anything. Neither is Martin Spanel, but Nima and Laurie, yeah. I think Boston got better, which sucks for us. Oh, we're back on the road. Might as well not even play the game. I mean, and risk injury. We already know we're not going to win that. Right, we are playing in New Jersey. So New Jersey is pretty good. They are 12-5-1. And, and we played them at home once this year. And we won 5-4 to four that game. So... Mm, yeah. New Jersey is second in the East. Wow. So it looks like the competitive division in the East this year is ours because Montreal's first in our division. They have 28 points. We are second with 24. Boston has 23. Toronto has 22. Toronto is starting to get good. We might actually develop a rivalry with them. Right, playing in New Jersey. Go, Sens, go. We need a road win so that I can shut up about it. Going with Tommy Salo on the road again. It hasn't been proven to be successful. And they're going with Marty Brother. And we lost 5 to 1. Uh, we were outshot 37 to 32. Patrick Aliash was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Brother was the second star with 31 saves. And Brian Rafalski was the third star with a goal and two assists. Um, so they took a 1 0 lead into the first. Then we tied it up with Joni Van Dyke on the power play from Peltonen and Yashin. But then Patrick Aliash scored, made it 2 to 1. And in the third period, they scored three times. All right, so there's been another trade. So the Bruins are active. Now they tr made a trade with the Florida Panthers. So they traded James Black and Kyle Wanving to Florida for Steve Stales. So again, I think Boston got the better player. So now they got better again. I don't like it. Why are they winning their trades? <laughs> That sounds unfair for me. 
All right, we are playing our next game in four days in Atlanta. Um, we played in Atlanta already this year and tied it up there. So. All right, we have four games left before the end of November. Feels like November went by pretty fast. Oh, there's been a uh, maybe an interesting trade there. All right, so. Uh, there's been a trade between the Oilers and the Islanders. So, oh, Patrick Travers, former Ottawa Senators, goes to the Oilers for Sean O'Donnell. Hmm. Patrick Travers finally reaches potential of a star and a half player. But I, I think the Islanders got the better player. I think Sean O'Donnell is a better player. A very defensive defenseman, but uh, better player nonetheless. There's been a trade a day lately. No trades today. All right, Mario Lemieux has produced 700 goals in his career. He had a goal and two assists against Toronto. Pretty good. 34 years old. All right, and we are playing tomorrow in Atlanta. Oh my god, I believe that's going to be Thanksgiving. I mean, Thursday, November 25th, that sounds like that would be the about where Thanksgiving is. American Thanksgiving, that is. Uh, Alexander McGillney extends his goal streak to five games. He scored a goal against Washington. Suspension for Kevin Haller, now playing in Vancouver, uh, he's going to be suspended for three games. Good game for Pavel Dimitra in Carolina. He had a goal and four assists against Vancouver in that same game. Pretty good game for Pavel Dimitra. Uh, Chris Chelios in Chicago is suspended. He's going to miss three games. Glenn Murray lights the lamp. He had a hat-trick three goals against Nashville. And Kovalev had a great game as well. He had a hat-trick. Scored all the goals again of, for his team against Tampa Bay. Alright, we are playing in Atlanta right now. I really would like a first road win. I think Atlanta we can beat... So Atlanta right now is 8, 9, and 2. And we have 18 points. Still going with Tamisalu. He is unable to win for us. Stop sending him. <laughs> and they're going with Cujo, Curtis, Joseph, and Net for Atlanta. Finally, we won a game on the road, so I can finally stop talking about it. It was a 2 nothing win, too, so a shutout. So Tommy Salu finally gets a win for us. It's a shutout win. Pretty good. Um, we outshot them 32-30. to 30. Tommy Salu was the first uh, star of the game with 30 saves, obviously. Uh, Sylvain Five for Atlanta was the second star with no points and Zvela for us was the third star with two assists. Joe Thornton scored his first goal of the season assisted by Zvela and Peltonen. We were up 1-0 after 1 and then in the second Marian Osa scored from Zvela and Yashin. It was 2-0 at that point and obviously it stayed that way. Chicago Scatchard suspended. So Dave Scatchard is going to miss five games. And now we are playing the very next day in Pittsburgh. Um, so Pittsburgh, since facing them last at the start of the month, are now, are now 9, 6, and 4. They are ninth in the East. And we won that one meeting against them. It was at home. We won 5-3. to three. Now we're playing on the road. Might be a little bit tougher for us. Going back to Tamisalo. Two games in two nights. Why not? He got the shutout. Facing Peter Scudra. And we won. 4-1. Alright. We're on a roll. 
We outshot them 30 to 25. Wow, that's rare that we can, uh, you know, keep Pittsburgh at bay like that. Usually they walk all over us with shots. And Joe Newendike was the first star. Feels like Joe Newendike has been a star in almost every single game we've played this month. So Newendike first star, a goal and two assists. Pavel Detsuk was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Osa third star with a goal. Alright, so yeah, that game was almost decided after the first. We took a 3-1 to one lead after one. So Detsuk scored short-handed from Amerdik and Peltanen. Then Osa scored from New and Dyke. Uh, then Mario Lemieux scored, made it 2 to 1. But Brian McCabe scored five seconds later, assisted by Joe New and Dyke. And it was 3 to 1 after 1. And Joe New and Dyke scored with one second left in the game in an empty net, assisted by Pavel Datsyuk. And it was 4 to 1 at that point. Oh, looks like I have Bill Guerin, that's art, he's day to day. John Van Beesbrook has played 800 games in his career. Pretty good for John Van Beesbrook, still playing in Florida. No further discipline for Toronto's Yannick Perro. No suspension for you. Peter Fosberg has a memorable game. He had three goals and an assist against Phoenix. All right, how does that injury look like, Mr. Guerin? Shin splints, day to day. Walk it off. That's what I'm telling you. It's still the nine. It's still the nineties. People are still walking off in pain. That's that's still a thing. If that doesn't work, you can go rub some dirt on it. A uh, big game for Valérie Bourré in Montreal. He had a hat-trick three goals against Vancouver. Petail Bondra extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against the Islanders. Joe Murphy uh, scored his 600th point in his career uh, with two goals and an assist against Toronto. All right, so two games left uh, in the month, uh, both at home. Now, right now we are hosting the Philadelphia Flyers. So Philadelphia has uh, slowed down. Uh, as we know, they were they finished first in the league, uh, not in the league, they finished first in the East last year. Uh, this year so far they are 11, 11 and two. They are eight in the East. Uh, that was our very first game of the season on the road in Philadelphia, and we lost 6-1. to one. So now we're playing at home, and let's see if we can get revenge for that loss. All right, they're going with Grant Fjord in it, and we are going with Mike Dunham. And we won 5-2, to two. another pretty good game. We outshot them 38 to 19, so we doubled them in shots. Uh, we had 10,578 people in attendance. Uh, Daniel Alfredson was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Yashin was the second star with two assists. And Marian Osa, third star with a goal and an assist. So we took a 3 nothing lead into the first. Looks like we've been doing that a few times. Uh, this month. Matt Cullen scored from Zvela and Niedermeyer, uh, Norm McIver on the power play from Yashin and Peltonen, and then Alfredson from McIver and Yashin. It was 3 nothing after 1. Then Darcy Tucker scored for Philadelphia. It was 3-1, to one, but then we scored two more times. So McCabe from Osa and Alfredson, and Osa from Neuendijk and Datsuk. <clears throat> then Mark Ricky scored in the third period with uh, five something to go into the third period, but it was too late. It was 5 2, and that's how we won. Uh, Cam Neely is back from suspension. Memorable game for John Madden, who had four assists against San Jose. Pretty good. Alright, and last game is tomorrow at home against Chicago. No further punishment for Thomas Caberly, not suspended in Toronto. 
Petar Bundra extends his goal streak to six games with a goal and two assists in that same game. And Bill Guerin might be back soon from his shin splints. All right, so we are playing Chicago. Uh, Chicago is doing pretty good. Uh, they are 10, 7, and 6, so that's not too bad. 26 points. We have not played Chicago so far this year. I believe they have a couple guys that are suspended, so that might help us. Oh, God, they have a couple injuries, too. What's going on there? All right, so they do have Barry Richter that's on injured reserve. Then they have Dan Cleary and Jeremy Roenick that are not going to play this game. And Dave Scatchard and Chris Chelios are suspended. Wow. Okay. Well, after all that said, it's uh, we're gonna be facing Ed Belfour, and you know, not a lot of talent other than that. I mean, I hate to say it that way, but uh, all of their best players almost are all hurt or suspended. Alright, so Ed Belfour in net for them, Mike Dunham for us. And we won 2 to 1. We outshot them 40 to 18. We had 10,399 people in attendance. Pavel Detsuk was the first star of that game with two assists. Ed Belfour, despite the loss, was the second star with 38 saves. And Ted Drury was the third star with an assist. So. We took a 2 nothing lead in the first. Neuendijk scored from Pavel Datsyuk, and then Neuendijk scored again, uh, what, 37 seconds? Uh, no, 31 seconds later. Joe Neuendijk scored again, 41 seconds. God, I can't, I can't do math. Joe Neuendijk scored some seconds after his first goal from Zvela and Pavel Datsyuk. It was 2 nothing after one. And... Tom Chorsky scored the only goal for Chicago in the second period. It was 2-1, to one, stayed that way. Suspension over for Chris Chelios. Well, we're done playing you, so I don't really care. You're welcome back, I suppose. Right, we're going to advance that to December 1st. Alexander Mogilny has recorded 300 goals in his career. So he scored a goal in assist against Pittsburgh. Zygmunt Palfi lights the lamp. He had a hat trick against Dallas. Kevin Aller in Vancouver is back from suspension. Bill Guerin is about to come back. Uh. All right, my development rep report looks pretty good. And Ray Whitney and Chris Osgood are the player of the month in the NHL. All right, so it is December 1st, so that's where we're going to stop here. We're going to take a look at the standings a little bit and the stats before we call it a day. So we are now 15, 8, and 2. We are fourth in the East. We are four points behind Montreal for the division lead, and we played one more game than they did. All right. All right, so in the East, it looks like this. So we have Montreal first, New Jersey, Carolina, us, Boston, Islanders, Toronto, Rangers. And then in the West, oh, Nashville and St. Louis, that's not uh, doing too good, especially St. Louis. Man, 10 points in 24 games. St. Louis is 4 18 and 2. They had a horrible season last year, too. What's going on in St. St. Louis? I don't remember them being that bad at the end of the 90s. Actually, I, I think by then they had gotten Chris Pryor, maybe. Al McInnes, for sure. Huh. Anyway, so they are struggling.
Alright, so stats wise for us, Joni Van Dyke is having a really, really, really good season. He has 38 points in 25 games. Then we have Yashin, 28 and 25. Alfredson is almost at a point per game. He's 23 and 24. Zvel is having another pretty good season for us, 18 and 25. Pelton and 18 and 22. Datsyuk is doing alright with 17 points in 21 games. Osa 13 and 25. So Osa is still trying to figure it out uh, to get some consistency for him. Then it starts to dwindle down from there. Alright. Magnus Arvidsson not doing all that great, huh? Okay. Alright, and. In the entire league, it looks like this. Uh, Timu Solani is the best goal scorer with 25 goals. That's 8 more than Owen Nolan, who's second. Uh, Ray Whitney, 26 assists. That puts him uh, at the top there. Junior Wendike is third in assists. And Timu Solani has 42 points. He's first. And Joni Van Dyke is third with 38 points. So if he continues like that, we might have one of our players in the race for the best uh, score in the league for the first time. That would be cool. We haven't uh, seen that yet. Oh, wow. We're, our players are doing pretty good on plus minus. So you have Luke Richardson in Edmonton. That's first. Then you have Rod Brennamore. That's second. And then we have Sharon Van Dyke, Datsuk, and Osa. That are third through six. So, yeah, pretty good. All right, so we have finally kind of uh, beat the curse of the road a little bit. So now we know we can win a couple of games on the road. That's done. Uh, all we have to do now is to find a little bit more consistency in December. So it looks like in December we're going to have our Western Canadian trip uh, right before Christmas. And yeah, it's not going to be an easy month. Um, We'll have to see what uh, it brings us. So, yeah, I picked up Tommy Saddle. Not a bad, uh, not a bad month, all, all in all. All right, I'm saving my game and I am going to call this a video. So, as usual, thank you for tuning in. If you've liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. That's always appreciated. And until I roll this game again, see you guys next time. Thank you.